Good morning. I'm about to go out and garden. I'm just going to rush through it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Look at that boy. He just loves a job. He's such a grafter. He's got his music on. Look at him. What a little star. There's not a lazy bone in that boy's body. Well, obviously he can't put his laundry in his laundry basket. But look at him go, what a star. That pigeon is getting really bold. One and a half metres. That's how close I was. Right, jobs to do. Out here, I've just done over this bed and I'm going to plant some of these French lettuces here. That one, that one, and then this one is a cut and come again. So I'm putting it by my sink that's gonna have my summer salad. I'm probably a bit late in um, sowing these, but never mind. Looking forward to these agapanthus flowering. I could do with getting some nice terracotta pots to get them out of these um, icky black plastic ones. I've sowed my salad leaves. I've sowed my cut and, oops, finger, cut and come again sleeves. Sleeves? <laughs> Seeds. Hacked back some rhubarb, it was going berserk, and I've got so many crowns. I'm going to um, bake something with this today. I've top dressed my Egyptian walking onions and I've planted some red spring onions in and amongst. Basically, the soil is fine, but it's a bit rocky, and I think that it just gives them a bit of a head start and it indicates to me where I've put them if I put a bit of compost on the top. It seems to work all right. Over here, I've put my Cavallo Nero. Looks a little bit like a mini graveyard, which is a bit spooky. <laughs> but at least I'll know what's Cavallo Nero and what is weed. I've not grown Cavallo Nero before, so I don't really know what their first leaves look like. Anyway, did I say it's beginning to rain? It's beginning to rain and somebody's strimming or hedge cutting. It's probably Toby. And the noise is getting on my nerves. I love the planes. They're noisy, but I love them. I love helicopters. I love aeroplanes. I've come in. I've got a mucky smudge on my face. <laughs> love to go in one of those. I've never been in one of those. I've been in so many helicopters but never in a Chinook. I'd love to go in a Chinook. Come in to my sewing room because it's begun to rain out there. My little shadow is here. But it's noisy because Toby's still cutting hedges. He's a good boy. And I've got such a mess to tidy up. So I'm going to tidy up, make it look nice and then make a new mess, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs>
I'm just cooking the easiest supper in the world. It's basically sausages, really good ones, squeezed out of their skin, sage leaves, and then you gone misty. And then you add cooked pasta. Or if this was in a different pot, I would just put more water in here and add the pasta in there, which I still might do. I got the recipe from my friend Turnip. But what I popped on to say, oh my goodness, what is going on out there? They're in their rash vests and trunks. Is, I'm trying to, as you know, because I bang the drum all the time, cut down on my plastic use and puff pastry usually comes in plastic. However, if you go to the freezer department in Waitrose, it comes just in a cardboard box. Perfect. Perfect for my rhubarb galette. Just up in my tea that Rachel sent me yesterday. Oh, I might regret this because it's six o'clock and that's got caffeine in it. Oh, well, never mind, hey-ho. <laughs> mm -hmm.